What is up, my nerd nation? My name is X Millhouse, and this is the series that I lose all the time and suck. No, guys, this is Road to Master, and uh, actually, today is going to be a cool day. I hopefully, hopefully, praying it's going to be a cool day. You guys saw my video on basically how to change your camo, how to do that awesome thing in Nuketown 2025 on uh, custom games. And today, I want to go over a few things and the whole entire Black Ops 2 scene, and basically, in the Road to Master, you guys know I tell you guys what class up to use for perfect maps, and today, we're hopefully, we can get to a map section, and I tell you guys spawn points and that kind of stuff. So, we're going to go into custom games, and we're going to go to change map standard, and we're going to go over to the map that I play the most, is this one. Alright, we just got to change a few things here to make sure it's all set up for you guys, unlimited we just need a little bit of time. Set up boss zero. All right, we're gonna set up to start this game, and we don't want any boss actually. Hopefully, there's no boss. Okay. And we're gonna start this game, and I'm gonna show you guys basically spawn points, what gun would be perfect for this, and that kind of stuff. Which I don't think I actually get guns, but I can just tell you actually which one. You can use a few guns here. You can use an assault rifle, an SMG, you can use a sniper. This is uh, basically an all-around map. There's there's perfect sniping points for this, like. Yeah, we don't get my class, but let's see. You can use shotgun here. You can use sniper or the MTAR, which I prefer you guys to use the MTAR. Search which and destroy. Is only one spawn point right here. As you guys can see, you either spawn here, defend the or down here, and then you can get a tomahawk kill by just throwing it right over that building and get one. It's possible, don't worry. Okay. And the next spawn point would be people will start rushing through here, right over here actually, and you're gonna get a spray of people usually right here through there. Or there's gonna be one or two guys right in here, which they'll be like probably looking out this window, Garden A or whatever. And then their spawn points are usually I've I've spawned here before, so I can just sprint right over there, right over there. I've spawned here, here, and all back through there is where basically they spawn. Now during the game, people will be rushing, and your spawn point doesn't really change much. If you're on this team over here, you'll spawn here. So say you're running here and you spawn here, but someone from the team, other team, can also spawn here. The sucky thing about that is that's true. And there's the bomb. Er, my god. <laughs> and basically, once you're here and they spawn here, it's so easy to spray and prep. Because that's the one terrible spawning system. I cannot wait for the update where they're like, okay, yeah, we're going to update this. We can go in here. No, you can't. That'd be awesome. That'd be a camping spot of my dreams. But the spawn points are terrible in Black Ops 2 due to the fact that people spawn five feet from you. Like you're running through the map right here, and then the guys just like boop, boom, 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 boom. Basically, that's how it goes. I mean, spawns are terrible in here, and you always spawn up here and around here and all through here and that kind of stuff. So the MTAR is a great class setup, which you can use basically on any map, but you can use this one, you can use the MP7, which is great with lightweight toughness. Basically their class right here is great. All I would add is a grip and basically a laser sight or a FMJ or basically a sight on it. But that's up to you guys what your preferral on the MP7 would be. And then you can use this for camping and like headquarters and stuff like that so you get a bunch of kills. Uh, use shotguns on this map to the fact that if you're playing like an objective based game such as headquarters or hardpoint or one of those objective type of games those are the best would be and then the sniper which I'll show you guys in a few seconds Kabuli. I'm gonna lose even right, when we lost that round but it's not over yet get ready okay, for the next right here. one you guys can see this. Search and I got destroy. this set up right here for quick scoping. Now me and my friend do a lot of quick scoping, so this is why I have this. And this map for sniping is pretty simple. I mean, you can run right through here on the start of the game and probably pick off a couple guys that are camping right, through, right there, and right there, and right there, and there might be a guy up there. But if you're not that kind of quick scoping guy and you're just like a hard scope type guy, which is fine. No one, I don't, I don't care about hard scopers at all, unless you're just like. There's gonna be a guy right here and ten. Not okay. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Those kind of guys really take me off. But there's guys right there usually coming around that corner, coming through that building up there. Now, the thing you gotta be careful about is people come there, 
and right through here because they're gonna be spawning in here when you're up there and your team's spawning back there our guy's gonna spawn right here i promise it happens and he's gonna run up here and be like oh you bam you're gonna die you're not gonna be happy at all so all through there is where you can snipe in this map and it's pretty sweet the spawn points are terrible like i said but that doesn't really matter but guys i mean I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Road to Master. When I try to help you guys out, I'll be prestiging very soon, actually. You guys can see I'm 53, and I'm not sure, basically, if I want to prestige due to the fact that prestiging in this is a little different. You can actually prestige your guns instead of your level, and when you prestige, basically, you get an extra class, which would be very nice. You can uh, change your, your emblem, thing will change, basically. And, yeah, but I, I'm not for sure if there's any more perks other than that, so I'm not for sure if I really want to prestige if I, or I just want to max up my guns, because when you prestige your gun twice, you basically can put your emblem on there, and you can put awesome stuff on there. So I'm getting ready to prestige, actually, and probably the next episode, The Road to Master, I'll be doing a prestigial on my, <laughs> prestigial, is that even a word, on my M27, and we're going to try to rank that gun up as much as possible, and we're going to try to play some awesome matches with you guys in the next one. Not going over spawn points, the next one we're actually going to go over some matches and stuff like that. But guys, my name is X Mailhouse, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today of Road to Master. I'll see you guys in the next one.